Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. It's, it's a blessing to be here today. It's a blessing to be here again. My name is Ruth, and the lady with me here is Josephine. We're really, really, really blessed to be here today. Hallelujah. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for the gift of sleeping and waking up. Lord God Almighty, we commit this day, we commit this, this preaching into your hands. We say, Father, let your will be done. As your word comes forth, Lord, shine your light upon us and give us understanding for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, take over my tongue. Lord, speak your mind through me for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Once again, good morning, everyone. It's a, it's a blessing to be here again. Thank you so much for stopping by, for asking for prayer, for saying hello, for accepting our tracks. It's a privilege to be here in your midst. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read today from John chapter 3 from verse 1. It's about Nicodemus. Nicodemus questions Jesus. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel? and knowest not these things. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and you receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have e eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for the washing of water by the word. When the word comes forth, it's such a blessing. Hallelujah. It sets us free. Psalm 107.20 says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Should the word of God is truth, it is life. Hallelujah. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. Yes. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, of the joints and the marrow, 
and it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, hallelujah. The Word of God is God, hallelujah. The Word of God is truth. Listen to the Word of God today. We've heard from John chapter 3, verse 3, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. There is no other way around it. You have to be born again. If you want to see the kingdom of God, you have to be born again. You have to repent of your sins and turn to Jesus Christ and ask, ask him for forgiveness and invite him into your heart. Hallelujah. There is only one way to heaven. That's through Jesus Christ. You have to be born again. Except a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. My prayer for you today is that you will believe the word of God. That you will not harden your heart this morning. That you will accept the gospel of Jesus Christ. That you will weep for your sins. That you will come out of the darkness and run to the light. That is Jesus. That is God. And that you will run to the Lord. And humble yourselves before him. Repent sincerely of all your sins and turn to him. There's forgiveness at the cross. There's redemption at the cross. There's deliverance at the cross. There's healing at the cross. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. Jesus paid the price for you on the cross. He died for your sins. That you may believe for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him. Hallelujah. It starts with a belief. Hallelujah. That whosoever. Hallelujah. It's not for a, a particular number of people. It's not for a particular sect. It's for everyone. It says for whosoever. Hallelujah. Believes in him should not perish. Hallelujah. But have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. Today is the day of your salvation. Now is the time for you to repent and turn to the Lord. For it's accepted unto man who wants to die and after that judgment. When we leave this world, where will we go? When you leave this earth, where will you go? It's either heaven or hell. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Repent of your sins. Turn to Jesus, your Messiah. Turn to Jesus who died on that cross for you. Selflessly, lovingly. He hung on that cross. He took all the shame for you, for your sins. Turn to Jesus. He loves you. He first loved you. He loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. Turn to Jesus. Your Messiah, turn to Jesus, the lover of your soul. Hallelujah. Your Redeemer, your soon coming King. Yes, Jesus Christ is coming again. He's coming very soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That great day is coming when Jesus will come back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My prayer is for that everyone who hears my voice right now, who's listening to my voice, my prayer is that everyone will accept Jesus Christ. And on that day, when the Lord comes back in his glory, he will take all of us with him, hallelujah, for his glory, hallelujah. Thank you so much for listening, hallelujah. May the word of God which has gone forth today, may you begin to bear fruit in your lives, hallelujah. And may the Lord have his way in your life, hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, hallelujah. Thank you for listening. May the Lord be with you. We have more tracks here. If you're in need of a Bible, please come forward. Do not be, do not be shy. Hallelujah. Freely we have received and freely we're, we're so happy to give. Hallelujah. Thank you and God bless you.